Hey, welcome. It's Melissa and welcome to my Healthy Being by Melissa YouTube channel where I am here to help you get healthy, stay well, and feel alive by providing you natural simplified health solutions. And today I want to respond to many of you, my subscribers, questions about one of my most popular videos. If you haven't checked it out, I have a link right there. And it is about the little red cherry bright red spots that appear on your skin. Those are called cherry angiomas. And one of the topics uh, that I talk about in my video is that these uh, little red dots are caused by bromine toxicity. And I, rec I, I recommend getting rid of bromine um, or bromated or bromide uh, in your flowers and, and kind of identify some of the exposure to bromine. But I get a lot of people who say, I'm eating clean, Melissa, and I'm taking care of my thyroid and I'm doing all these things and how is, how is it even possible I still get these red things uh, on my skin? So basically, I wanna tell you a little bit more about the bromine exposure that we have. Bromine is actually a halogen. It's on your elemental chart, if you remember science. Um, it's situated between iodine and chloride, chlorine or chloride. And it is a very strong uh, product that is utilized in a lot of things. So it's in our food sources. There have been studies that have identified over 50% of our peanut butter, our deli meats, our fish, particularly farm-raised fish, contain varying levels of bromine. Um, and if you watch that video or want to watch it from that link I provided, bromine will override iodine receptivity in the body and can cause thyroid and hormonal imbalances. But it's also in our environment and it's, it's basically everywhere. It's in fire retardants. So think about all the products that you have in your home, in your car, and in your work environments that are fire retardant. I think about even like this thing, this, this, uh, um, uh, sheet uh, curtain that I have here in my uh, office, uh, my wellness center here, these little things have a lot of the chemical and they're off-gassing and basically the off-gassing is something we're inhaling and even we're absorbing on our skin by wearing clothing. So it's something that you don't even realize that we are getting exposure to furniture, clothing, materials that we're sitting on. Um, it's also in vegetable oil, and that's a really serious uh, uh, component and ingredient in a lot of foods that we're eating. The other thing, uh, I did my research to really specify some details for you, Mountain Dew and Gatorade have high levels of bromine. So one of the things that I recommend for any of the clients that I work with on a regular basis to help eliminate and, and detox out the bromine is to do some liver detoxing. So I'm going to provide a link right there to an awesome video I have about a, my favorite, the most powerful liver juicing, cleansing recipe. And so I break out the ingredients uh, as I juice it and drink it myself. And um, I've got links below for other details. So if you want to get more health information on a monthly basis, I hope you'll subscribe right there to my healthy e-newsletter. If you want behind the scenes details or kind of see how I live a healthy lifestyle, I hope you'll follow me on my Instagram account. It's Healthy Being by Melissa. And thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my Healthy Being channel, I hope you will subscribe. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. I love communicating uh, with you, my subscribers and viewers, and I'm grateful for your time. So let's optimize our health and live healthier lives together. Thanks. Have a great day.